YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to Disabout Action Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 314. We're outside the world famous half off store. <laughs> Maybe not world famous, but definitely amongst the, the collectors here in Pennsylvania and beyond who watch Archie's videos and other people from this area. Uh, we are checking out the store here today. Uh, always have uh, interesting finds here at half off store action figure wise and beyond. Uh, so, but, uh, by the way, this is also the ride home from Zolocon 2024. If you want to see Zolocon footage, check out our previous video. This is anywhere we stopped on the way home, and then probably some stores once we get home this week as well. But if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. It helps us grow the channel tremendously in March to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way YouTube notifies you and tells you when we post new content here at the channel, like our weekly toy reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button for daily toy content and daily toy updates. Try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at this about underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. Okay, so starting right at the Marvel Legends section, they've definitely redone it since I was here because there used to be a whole giant wall of Marvel Legends. So I guess they've moved some around, or I don't know, I'll have to look around and see. Uh, but we do have an uh, Ultron for $14.99. Back behind, there's a Nick Fury there. So we have that wave showing up here. Uh, lots and lots and lots of Lokis. Another Nick Fury. There's an $11.99 on him. So again, these sometimes, <laughs> the dust, these sometimes do tend to be slightly higher than like what a clearance price would be at Target because they come here for a while and just kind of sit. Uh, $4.99. So these were more expensive when I was here last time. So you can see also the prices can be different. So $4.99 on him. But then uh, the one in the back, they must have missed that to re-sticker it. So things here even eventually go on clearance. These will never sell. I don't think anybody will ever buy those. Then there are so many of them here. Um, Gamora for $11.99. But you have to kind of dig around and see what you're going to find legends-wise because they could be different locations. And then all of these, I saw them on end cap as well. So all those probably came from Target. Basil, 1999. It's a big, big box for 1999 for stuff. But that's the marble I see so far. We'll keep looking around. Uh, but there's all sorts of brands here: GI Joe, Indiana Jones, NECA stuff, a lot, a lot of Hasbro stuff, of course. But let's keep looking. Okay, right over behind me, we have GI Joe reactions down to 4.99 in that situation, uh, 6.99 in that situation. We have a Dusty uh, classified. Uh, some of the movie classifieds down to $4.99. Finally, people can start buying these and maybe doing something with them for whether it's kit bashing or whatever customization. Uh, Kingpin, $11.99. We have Indie Throne Room, $12.99. Um, Dungeons and Dragons stuff, very cheap. Now, that's, that's good. $2.99 on Electra. I actually have that one. But if they had more of those for $2.99, like other characters, I would pick those up because they look good on a wall and I have quite a few already. D&D, $9.99. It's actually kind of high. Always usually cheaper than that. Uh, but let's keep looking. They have a Jesser section. Check it out, Jesser. Dinos down in 1999. Army build those Gigantosauruses. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, little ones down here, 599. And even the Star Wars section is much smaller. There has to be another section somewhere. This is new, isn't it? I think that's new. And it's 1699. Uh, Lonely Lando's here. But yeah, last time I was here was a whole wall of Star Wars too. So not quite sure what's going on. If they have a different section for a lot of those things now, or if they got rid of them. And we even have some DC multiverse going on. So $14.99 uh, for the Bane, uh, $14.99 for Project Superman. Again, those were all clearance prices. $34.99, that's still pretty high on that. Uh, multiverse stuff, or I should say classic Batman stuff here. $4.99, that's a nice price for these. Looks like it's all basically the Riddler version. Um, down here, Shriek Unmasked, $13.99. So Mo2 and Wrestling. Uh, again, a lot less stuff here than last time I came. Uh, but you can still almost build an entire Mo2 collection if you don't have any. $9.99. And again, the target clearance price might have been less. $5.99. That's a good price for that. Uh, but this is what we're working with now. So Beastman, $9.99. Not bad at all. We got our Joes. Here's Samoa Joe. This is tempting. I was hoping to get it for $7 clearance. Uh, I haven't bought a wrestler in a long time, to be honest. I can recall. $7.99 for $11.99 for a Joe. I might grab that. It'll probably go down over time, but he is the AW champion right now. And I don't have a Samoa Joe in my collection at all. So considering this is still technically con weekend for me, I might pick that up. Uh, $9.99 up top for that He-Man, uh, or I should say, um, I forget his name, Robot He-Man. Uh, Starlight Mecca is $19.99. There's a Nyla Rose, $10.49. That's the Target special right there. Tons of pops, we're not gonna go through those. But yeah, I'm gonna get this for $11.99. Con weekend, treat yourself. I'm not gonna get it much cheaper than that. Maybe eventually seven here, but I'm gonna grab it. Not bad at all. So let's keep looking around. And back here, even more 
uh, Jurassic Park stuff, $7.99 on these. Uh, so nice little set right there, a whole end cap. And this is probably a lot of Target stuff, all Target salvage. This is kind of the main aisle. Let's see how long it is, all toys and pops and stuff down that aisle. And they have Luigi's, the mega figures, and also the Yoshi's, um, $29.99, it says here, for the Yoshi figure. There you go. I don't know why Yoshi's so much more expensive than Luigi. I guess Yoshi's stock is higher. These are five ninety nine. That's a great price. They were also Target clearance. So we've been seeing this at the bin store too. I do have the Mario and the Luigi. So for me, it's actually tempting because I can kind of build out the rest of the wave, but I don't really have a whole shelf for my Mario stuff. It's more or less just kind of Mario, Luigi, and, uh, and Bowser. So, but yeah, good price. And it's crazy that they only have these down to twenty three ninety nine because these sold horribly at Target, and I could be wrong, but I feel like nobody wanted these. Again, you gotta love the turtles, you gotta love Stranger Things, but I just don't think people wanted these. Um, but $14.99 on those. A lot of kids' toys here too, so if you're looking to do early Christmas shopping or random birthday shopping for anybody in your family, you know, you have anything from Jurassic Park uh, to Tonka trucks and other stuff, which again, typically can be pretty expensive, but you can really save a lot of money if you come and check out the half-off store. Also, they have uh, seasonal Squishmallows, so. There's all our seasonal candy that went by the wayside of Target. Foreign Arcade Center. And they have all sorts of stuff here. They have obviously have bikes, they have uh, decorations, they have food, they have clothing. They have basically everything in this location, in these stores. So I think there's another one near NJ Tree, somewhere in Jersey, but if you're a betting, everything you need, <laughs> uh, cheap. So it was a delightful stop at the half off store. Now we're at the game stop. It's about a mile and a half, maybe about an eight minute drive away or so with the traffic lights and the stops here in the town. Uh, still trying to find Power Princess. Uh, if I find her, I'll be pretty pumped. If I don't, you know, I'll be fine. Um, I left the Joe behind. I left the Joe behind. Uh, I want a suited Joe, since that's how he's been appearing for a lot of his awesome segments um, and interviews. So I'm going to hold off, because we'll get that eventually. I know we'll get it with a belt. So, all right, GameStop. Let's see if we have any new Legends. All right, so not looking like much here for Legends, unfortunately. We have the Vampiro Wrestling, some more wrestling, DC Multiverse stuff. I think we saw some of this in some other GameStops recently. Nothing crazy. Yeah, so I don't see actually anything new for the new wave. Batman we saw last hunt. That's new-ish, but we saw it in other stores. Um, Indiana Jones. But yeah, I think Enrisk would be in and out here. Arsenal. Not seeing anything that's for us here. So one more pass through this store and we'll get out of here to the next location. And just a short drive around the shopping plaza or center here is the GameStop. So I expect either music in the background that I put in there or a weird silence with weird GameStop sounds. I don't know what I'll do. Back on that Ross wagon here. Ross over on Lehigh Street in Allentown, PA. Trying to find Marvel Legends Tigra. Trying to find, I don't even know what else anymore. Other Marvel Legends stuff. Let's see. Oh, more X-Men Retro. Yeah, more X-Men Retro. One, one, one on card and one Oak Preach. Let's see what they have. So nothing that we need because we were lucky enough to find this in a previous video. Just want to double check it's not reduced or anything here. Nope, still the same price. I was very excited, as you saw in the previous video, to find that again. But there's a few of those here, so it looks like they are restocking at least just the Invisible Man. Uh, but other than that, I checked the other shelf area. Nothing really there, so I think we're going to go on to the next location. And uh, yeah, see what else we can find elsewhere. All right, so like I said, head on a swivel at Ross. So I went to the front. Let's see what they have. I didn't look behind this yet. We have oh, another avalanche, another avalanche. Oof, all avalanche. That's a bummer. Uh, back behind, looks like we do have three of the, the Fire Lords shoved in here. I don't think any of these are Tigra. So always check the front of the store because they do tend to have a, a section in the front for action figures in almost all my local Rosses. But unfortunately, they're the ones we were not looking for. Although every time I see that Fire Lord, I do somewhat begin to consider picking it up. Um, 
because I already do have one. I never opened it. So again, I could have one for the wall, one to open. Ah, I'm talking myself into it, I think. Is that another avalanche? Dear God, it's a whole case of avalanches. That's a bit of a letdown. But again, check the front, check the back. Look all over the place in these stores because they just got to shove stuff places so you can get lucky and find something and not even realize it. Back here at Ross on MacArthur Road and check this out. We got something new. We got Mace Windu. I think this is a Walmart exclusive. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't see a sticker and there's actually a handful of them here. Didn't see a sticker on any of them <laughs> that I noticed. I didn't check them all, but the ones I did check, I didn't see a sticker for a price. I'm guessing $5.99. That's typically what they charge for these. So that's really awesome seeing some new stuff here again at Ross. And they just keep coming with new stuff. I mean, I thought I could stop coming here and it looks like I can't. <laughs> I gotta keep showing up and checking. Uh, but still no tags on this that I can see. So I will post that though at disavowed underscore 12 on Instagram for anybody who would be looking for that to know they should check their Ross. Uh, I'm personally looking for more Marvel Legends. I had heard that Tigra was showing up, uh, some other ones as well. But looks like, at least over in this section, that's about it for stuff that I'm noticing that's new. Uh, I'm going to keep walking around and looking, keeping the head on a swivel, right? you got to look up, down, left, and right in these stores uh, to see what else I can find. Uh, if, I, if I find something else, I'll show it to you. If not, I will see you at the next location. So in front of the store, they have these kind of weird-looking turtles. Let me know what... I feel like I remember seeing those in regular stores. Avalanche. I don't see any other X-Men, though. But now I have one to open. I want to keep on card, which is pretty cool. So Walmart bringing the clearance, finally. They have the exclusive down to $25.50. You probably got the retro card down. Man, Destro. So you look at this, all the Joes are on clearance. In fact, almost everything is aisle. It almost seems like it's on clearance right now as I was just walking through. Look back behind here, all these different sale and clearance stickers. We have Power Rangers on clearance. Star Wars down to 29 right there. So they are just trying to unload. I mean, look at all these clearance stickers. Um, they are finally trying to unload all the stuff that nobody wanted, apparently. Down this way, all the... Down the superpowers are down to six. We have 50% off, it looks like. Even the Owl Man's down at the, 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 what, 1250. So yeah, this is nuts. How much of this stuff is all in clearance here today? Marvel Legends are not though, for whatever reason. So I didn't intend to film uh, until I saw that. What? Beetlejuice Clingers, 1998. I don't care what they cost. The GF loves Beetlejuice, huge Beetlejuice collection. So I, I need to get these, right? So I think we're gonna call it a hunt there, everybody. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it does not cost you anything. And it helps us grow the channel tremendously in March to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here to the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. After daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey everybody, if you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, and most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.